Hello and welcome to Notion Setups. If you're interested in Notion, if you like Notion, if you want to learn more about Notion, then hit subscribe. This channel is all about Notion, as you can tell from the name. So in this video, I'm going to go through Notion's new update and a couple of things that you can do with it. I'm not going to go over everything as there's quite a few updates, but if you want to see the full thing, then the link is in the description. I'm just going to go over my favorite things. So the first one is actually automations. Wow. Now with automations, you can be really creative, but just to show you how it works, I'm going to do a pretty basic one to start. So let's just call this one tasks list. So let's delete this property here. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine. And create a, let's do a checkbox, whether it's done or not. And then let's create another property and let's just do it as a date column. Here's the idea. What we want to happen is if we fill out the date for a task, it automatically ticks it as done. That way we don't have to manually do that and fill out two different things. Let's say I've filmed update video. Then basically what I want is if I select today, it automatically ticks it as done. So I might not even have to see this column, I can hide it and it automatically does that for me. That way when I'm creating filters and sorting stuff, I don't have to worry about manually doing this. It gets done in the background. He says, why don't you jump to the background? <laughs> I say, nah, wait a minute, jump to the background of what exactly? So in order to do that, all we're going to do is click on this little lightning bolt, go down to new automation. I'm just gonna call it done date. So the idea here is when the date is edited, then what I want to happen is the done gets checked. So I'll just create. So it's as simple as that. So now let's say I fill that in. As you can see, it automatically gets ticked. So what we could then do is hide this. So then if I do another example, ex example thing, and I say this is done, then in the background, this will get ticked. And we can actually see that happens by clicking open here and seeing here that it's ticked in the background. So obviously this is a super easy example and you can get very creative and set up a bunch of different things to work in the background for you, but this is the basic premise of automations inside of Notion. Okay, now another thing they've done, which I absolutely love, is added a thing called freeze columns. I want I you know, to- I know, Freeze. So I'll show you how that works using this as well. So let's just add a couple of random columns. Uh, person, files and media, roll up URL, text, number, Okay, you get the point. So there's a lot of scrolling here. Let's say when I'm scrolling, I always wanna see this name column. My name is Jeff. So when I scroll now, as you can see, it actually goes away from my view. So when I'm looking at the number over here, for example, I can't actually see the name that I'm working with. So here's what we can do. We scroll back over, and if you right click on this and you do freeze up to column, now when you scroll, as you can see, it will stay in view there. So this is really helpful for people that might have uh, really big CRMs that they're working with, or they might just have uh, a ton of properties for some reason. So I find this feature really helpful. Um, and yeah, I'm sure again, there's a ton of use cases that I'm not immediately thinking of that it could be useful for. Now, another cool thing in this update is they've allowed you to wrap text in galleries. So I'll show you how that works with this same database. We'll click on these three dots and change the layout to a gallery. Now let's click on this one and Click up here and for the text, just write a bunch of random stuff. Okay, I'm gonna click on the three dots here, click on properties, and then click on this icon to show the text. Now, as you can see, we can see all the text here. And this is something that we can change in here, where we have wrap all properties. So if you untick that, as you can see, we only see the first line. Or if you tick it back in, we can see the entire thing. This can be really helpful in a bunch of different use cases, again, for people with CRMs, or basically if you want to quickly describe what this item is all about, you can do that without it being cut off. All right, so the last one that I'm gonna talk about is a change they've done in buttons. So let's say in this task list here, we have a template. So let's say this template is called blah, blah. Everyone, this is blah, blah. And if you select blah, blah, then automatically the URL YouTube. And let's say we automatically have the date of today when it's created. Let's add an icon for it, just the circle. Okay, so what they've done is with buttons, I'll just create a button here, forward slash button. And what we can do is we can add a page to, so we want to then select this database, task list database, select task lists. And now as you can see, it says as empty but we can change this to the template, blah, blah. Say it again, blah, blah, blah. And then we're going to add another step and then we want to select new page added. That way it knows to open up this new page. So we'll just hit done. And I realize I should probably name this. Let's call it the blah, blah button, hit done. 
So when I click on that button, it automatically opens this up for me. So it says blah, blah. It has that icon. This is ticked in. It says YouTube. It says October 3rd. So the reason this is ticked in is because we have a date associated with it, which is today. So when I click away, as you can see, blah, blah is added here in the task list. So that's a really quick run through of the new Notion update. If you're interested in more Notion videos and learning about Notion, check out my back catalog. I have a ton of videos on it. And make sure you subscribe because you're not going to want to miss next week's video. Thanks for watching.